Hey there, Klaus. How's it going? Fine, thank you. And yourself? I'm ah, just hunting for that spy. Don't want my pay getting docked. I should probably be helping, but I'm feeling a little unmotivated just now. Really? What's the matter? The director's motivational techniques don't really inspire me. I have some rebellious tendencies in my nature that make me become somewhat resentful when I'm threatened or demeaned. I hear you. But sometimes you gotta swallow your pride. True, but I also think it's important to stand up for your principles. If I hunt for the spy as ordered, under threat of salary deductions, I am sending a message that punitive management practices are acceptable. I hate to break it to you, buddy, but that's the way all these villain outfits are run. Most of these guys have no prior management experience. They come from screwed up families, they didn't go to college, and they can't take criticism without flying off the handle. It's a drag, but it comes with the territory. Just because this behavior is institutionalized doesn't mean it's tolerable. You have to ask yourself, what is my goal, and how can I best accomplish it? If you're a manager and you want to get your employees to search for a renegade spy, you can either use incentive or punishment for motivation. Studies show punishment to be considerably less effective. You got a point, but around here, punishments can be permanent. Well, you must exercise judgment, of course. In this situation, the risk is purely financial, so I'm willing to chance the consequences. If it were life and death, I would probably do as I was told. At least you're prudent. You have to be. All right, buddy, I'm gonna go search. You watch your back. I shake that egg! <laughs> You think you're tough? for it.
presentation on Project Lambda at this year's International Crime Conference? It wasn't even on the project. I know! Can you believe it? So they talked about it, don't it? Nah, they just threw it to the sharks. Don't think you can get 